Hello, welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. In this video, we will practice speaking English in three parts, using a conversation about studying and playing. It will help you get better at listening and speaking English with more confidence. Are you excited? This should be fun. What to expect in this journey? First, we will listen to an English conversation. Second, we will practice speaking by answering questions. Third, we will use the shadowing method to improve your speaking skills. If you haven't heard of the shadowing method, it is like imitating a friend. You listen to someone speaking English and try to say exactly what they're saying as they say it. This helps you improve your speaking skills by practicing pronunciation and rhythm. So if you're ready to have fun while learning English, hop in. In the first part, you will listen to a regular conversation between English speakers. Just relax and try to understand what they're talking about. Don't worry if you don't catch every single word. The main thing is to jump into the conversation and have fun with it. So let's get started. Hey son, how's everything going? Oh, hi mom. Just playing a bit before I start studying. A bit, huh? How long have you been playing? Maybe an hour? An hour already. You know, balance is key. How much studying do you have left? I've got a math test next week. I really need to study those fractions. Studying is important. How about we make a plan? You study for an hour, then you can play for 30 minutes. Deal? I guess that's fair. But what if I don't want to stop playing? It's all about discipline. The games will always be there. But your grades depend on how well you prepare. Plus, taking breaks can actually help you study better. Yeah, you're right, Mom, but fractions are just so boring. I get it. But sometimes we have to do the boring stuff to enjoy the fun stuff even more. How about this? For every hour you study, I'll help you with any tough problems you have. Then you get a solid break to play. That sounds better. Can you help me if I get stuck? Absolutely. I'm here to help you succeed. And once you're done, we can even play a game together if you want. Really, that would be awesome. Okay, I'll study first. But you promised to help me, right? Promise. You've got this. Just remember, work hard first, then play hard. You'll appreciate the game even more after you've earned it. Thanks, Mom. I'll get started on my math now. That's the spirit. Was the conversation relatable? Try using this conversation with your family and friends. Now it's your turn to shine. Here in the second part, you are going to answer a few simple questions out loud about the conversation you just listened to. Don't worry, speaking out loud is a great way to improve your English skills. Feel free to pause and go back if you need to. Hey son, how's everything going? Oh, hi mom. Just playing a bit before I start studying. A bit, huh? How long have you been playing? Maybe an hour? Question, how long did the son say he had been playing? Answer, the son said he had been playing for maybe an hour. An hour already. You know, balance is key. How much studying do you have left? I've got a math test next week. I really need to study those fractions. Question, what subject does the son need to study? Answer, math, focusing on fractions. Studying is important. How about we make a plan? You study for an hour, then you can play for 30 minutes. Deal? I guess that's fair. Question. What plan did the mom propose to her son for studying? Answer. Study for an hour, then play for 30 minutes. But what if I don't want to stop playing? It's all about discipline. The games will always be there, but your grades depend on how well you prepare. Plus, taking breaks can actually help you study better. Question. Why does the mom emphasize the importance of discipline to her son? Answer. Because good grades depend on how well he prepares. Yeah, you're right, mom, but fractions are just so boring. I get it. But sometimes we have to do the boring stuff to enjoy the fun stuff even more. How about this? For every hour you study, I'll help you with any tough problems you have. Then you get a solid break to play. Question. How did the mom encourage her son to study fractions? Answer. 
She offered to help him with tough problems for every hour he studies, followed by a break to play. That sounds better. Can you help me if I get stuck? Absolutely. I'm here to help you succeed. And once you're done, we can even play a game together if you want. Really, that would be awesome. Okay, I'll study first. Question. What activity does the mom suggest they do together after studying? Answer. Play a game together. But you promised to help me, right? Promise. You've got this. Just remember, work hard first, then play hard. You'll appreciate the game even more after you've earned it. Thanks, Mom. I'll get started on my math now. That's the spirit. Question. What advice did the mom give her son before he starts studying? Answer. Work hard first, then play hard. Congratulations on making it to the final part. Here's how it works. First, you'll practice saying the son's lines, trying to sound like him. Then we'll switch and you'll practice the mom's lines. Focus on matching their tone and pronunciation and pay attention to the rhythm and how they speak. This will help you speak English better. Practice this a few times over the next few days for the best results. Remember, practicing regularly is important. Now let's get started and improve your English together. Ready? Let's go. Hey son, how's everything going? A bit, huh? How long have you been playing? An hour already. You know, balance is key. How much studying do you have left? Studying is important. How about we make a plan? You study for an hour, then you can play for 30 minutes. Deal? It's all about discipline. The games will always be there, but your grades depend on how well you prepare. Plus, taking breaks can actually help you study better. I get it, but sometimes we have to do the boring stuff to enjoy the fun stuff even more. How about this? For every hour you study, I'll help you with any tough problems you have. Then you get a solid break to play. Absolutely. I'm here to help you succeed. And once you're done, we can even play a game together if you want. Promise. You've got this. Just remember, work hard first, then play hard. You'll appreciate the game even more after you've earned it. That's the spirit. Now let's exchange and try the mom's lines. Oh, hi, mom. Just playing a bit before I start studying. Maybe an hour? I've got a math test next week. I really need to study those fractions. I guess that's fair, but what if I don't want to stop playing? Yeah, you're right, Mom, but fractions are just so boring. That sounds better. Can you help me if I get stuck? Really, that would be awesome. Okay, I'll study first. But you promised to help me, right? Thanks, Mom. I'll get started on my math now. Great job! Thank you for actively participating in our three-part fun activity using dialogues about studying and playing. Keep practicing and your hard work will eventually pay off. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.